Today is day 12 and we are going to talk about Facebook today. So I'm going to kind of talk fast because there's a lot of info to cover. So first of all, Facebook is free, which is super cool. Free advertising for you and for your business. And it's a place where you can just be yourself. You can be authentic. You can um, share your message and just be you. And it's super, super cool that way. I have built most of my business on Facebook and it's been a really a great opportunity for me to do that. So um, the basics. Now you need to stop right now and go look at your Facebook. How many friends do you have? Go look. Now you need to be growing your network every single day. You need to be adding at least two to three new people to that network on Facebook every single day. Now I'll tell you when I first started I had like 200 friends and now at this point in my business I'm at around I'm nearing 2,000 friends and that's crazy to me that's just crazy but I'll tell you it's not about quantity it's about quality. Sometimes I get people to add me and I think that they're gonna be interested in doing um, a challenge or something but they end up kind of being not the people that I want to associate with. So I end up deleting them and that's fine. You want quality people that are going to be um, great, a great part of your team. So um, the second thing that's so great about Facebook or that I want you to do the basics, I want you to write down 10 things that you're interested in and then go to Facebook, look at those groups, find groups that associate with those 10 things and join them. Do that now or later and then number three I want you to go to your friends pages so go to like your maybe your sister-in-laws or your cousins or people you went to high school with go to their pages and click on friends go through their friends list and look for people you know add all of those people that you know from their friends list grow your network all right on to bigger and better things. Let's talk about Facebook affinity or popularity. So Facebook affinity is just that. It is whether or not you're popular on Facebook, whether or not people see your stuff. So you might post something on Facebook and it gets like zero likes or maybe it gets 10 likes and that's awesome. And then someone else will post something completely um, the same or similar to yours and they get 200 likes. Why is that? It's because they're more popular on Facebook. It's their affinity. So how do you get people liking your stuff? Well, they have to see it in order for them to like it. So chances are, if your likes are low, either your content is bad or more likely people just aren't seeing it. So to get this up, you need to engage with people. What do I mean? I mean, you need to like and comment on other people's stuff. Now, not just the same people all the time, you need to find people that you're targeting. Who do you want to see your posts? What people do you want in your challenges? Who do you think would make a great coach? Like and comment on their stuff, then they'll see your stuff. All right, another thing to do to get up your affinity is to post with a picture. It drives me crazy, crazy, crazy when I see coaches share things. Don't share stuff. People don't see things that you share. Repost it on your page. If you're trying to link to something, put the link there, but upload a picture with it. Don't use the picture that comes with the link because people don't see links very much and they don't come up in their newsfeed. People don't see shares. They don't come up in their newsfeed. Um, videos are another one that are really low rated as well. Photo is the way to go. Photo or just a simple text post that will get your affinity up um another thing before you post something analyze it really look at it is it engaging is it salesy are people really going to want to engage with it would you like that post really look at it is the lighting good is the background good really look at your post and make sure that it's appealing and that people really are going to like it and going to want to engage with that post Another thing, engage with the people that are liking and commenting on it. Comment back, like their, like their comments. Um, engage with them, let them know that you care and that you're glad that they're liking and engaging in your posts. 
Um, the 80-20 rule. This is huge. You're a coach, you're excited about it, but don't barf all over your Facebook page with Beachbody. Don't do it. It's bad news. Use the 80-20 rule. 80% family, 20% Beachbody or business. Um, so I want you to do this too. Look at your news feed. Go back and scroll through. Are you doing the 80-20 rule? Are you posting two to three times a day? That's what you should shoot for, two to three times a day. Don't do more than that because you know what? You're gonna get blocked. People will be like, oh, she's posting a lot and they'll hide you from their newsfeed. You don't wanna get hidden. So two to three times a day. Um, also, another thing to get your popularity, your affinity up is post engaging things that make people wanna like and comment. So for instance, when I went on the Beachbody cruise, I posted that I was getting my hair done and I posted, I asked, put four different pictures and said, which color should I dye my hair? And I had tons of comments and likes. The other one was a dress I was gonna buy. Tons of engagement. Um, I, was, I needed to buy a new vacuum, so I asked people's opinions on what <coughs> vacuum they liked. Great conversation. So do that to keep your popularity up. And then, if your popularity's up, then when you use that 20% to post about an upcoming challenge group, people are going to see your posts. Now, they might not like them necessarily because, well, they might be afraid to because they might think that you'll reach out to them, which is fine, but they'll be seeing it. And when they're ready, they will come to you. So get your affinity up. So when you, you post about your challenge groups or anything fitness related, people are seeing it and they know what you're doing. Now, people that you add from Instagram or from these groups, any of your new friends, when you add them, make sure you go back to their page and you like and comment on their previous posts so that your things you're saying in your newsfeed come up in their newsfeed. Any people that you are wanting to do a group, different things like that, make sure you're liking and commenting on their stuff. Now, there's a few people that I would recommend you go and check out what kind of posts they're doing. Um, on their Facebook pages. Lindsay Stay is a good one. Lindsay Matway, Brittany Leggetti, Shalene Johnson, Janelle Summers, all great ideas and inspiration for you to gather. Follow them and see what kind of posts they're doing. Now, I want to talk a little bit about like pages. Should you start a like page? Everyone always asks me this when they're a new coach. My answer, yes and no. You can start one to begin with, but I recommend that you make your main priority your profile page. That's where all your friends and family are right now. That's where you're adding people to your network. So focus on your profile page. Now brand yourself with the friends that you have and then down the road, you can start building your like page. Um, I recommend don't come up with a fancy name. I wouldn't do it. Personally, if I went back, I wouldn't use Lead Fitness as my like page name. I would use Breezy Bitter because I am branding myself. I'm building myself as a fitness go-to person. So I want people to see my like pages that as well. Um, to get likes on your like page, you have to be able to pay for them now. Facebook has made it that way. So it's not extremely expensive. You can set a budget and you can run Facebook ads to get likes and engagement on your like page. I do this and that's how I've grown my like page. Now. You need to do the same as on your personal page. You need to engage with your followers, um, posting recipes, asking people to share, commenting and engaging with the people on those posts. That's how you will get your affinity up with your like page. Um, still be you and share your life. You can share a little bit more about Beachbody on your like page since it is, bus is business related. Um, and you know what, you guys, you can do this. Think that you don't have time will get rid of the excuses because you can do this. If I can do this, if I can wrestle these guys all day and figure out this whole beach body coach thing, you can absolutely do it. You can make time to do this and you've been given this great opportunity. It's right in front of you. You have the tools. We are here to help you. So just, I challenge you to just go for it. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us. Um, extra homework for you guys. There's some great webinars available in the, resor in the resources in the team webinars tab um, about social media, about like pages. I encourage you to go watch those and learn a little bit more.